alongside my brother Charles. Um, our farm is the, I'm the fifth member of uh, fifth generation of my family to farm this farm. Uh, it's quite a large operation for this part of uh, County Cavan. We farm approximately 280 acres of land. Um, we have three enterprises running on that farm. We have a dairy business which consists of 90 pedigree Holstein Friesian cows. Uh, we have a free range uh, broiler business um, which we produce annually 312,000 birds annually. We also have a, a beef element to our enterprise which consists of approximately 400 Angus cattle, Aberdeen Angus cattle. We had some disease issues on the farm. These things were causing problems and we were culling more cows than we feel we should be. Uh, better husbandry, better general health of all the herd should hold these animals longer in the herd thus leave us more profitable here. We started um, in 2014 to vaccinate all our calves with Rispavel internasal. Before that our calves were just take a chance and treat any pneumonias we, we were presented with on the farm. And I wasn't happy with this situation and particularly in 2013 we had a huge amount of pneumonias on the farm. Um, we, had, we actually treated 40% of all calves born on the farm. However, there's a more insidious form of pneumonia, which is what we would call subclinical or less obvious, but that grumbling away there in the lungs, it's slowing down the food intake. The calf is uh, using more energy to breathe, uh, he's lying more, he's not feeding as well as, as she should, the calf is not feeding as well as she should, and what that means is the calf is not growing well. And, and that works against our objective of trying to keep the calf growing well all throughout its life. As well as the husbandry changes that, that we make, we also try and increase the calf's immunity to the bugs that cause pneumonia. We do that with vaccinations. And intranasal vaccination has worked very successfully on this farm. We've reduced pneumonia incidence from a, a quite a high level to, to a very low level. And we're very happy with the performance of that vaccine actually in the field. It can be administered to a batch of calves at a young age. And for a calf of that age, intranasal administration is relatively straightforward. Our pneumonia rate or treatment last year dropped to four to four percent, which was a massive improvement on the year before. And it just take it, it took the stress out of actually working with the calves, and it freed up a lot more labour. It was a more streamlined business last year over the year before. Too much time was wasted. There was a little more expense in vaccinating, um, but it was more than paid for in calf performance and general streamlining streamlining of the calf rearing uh, element of the farm. When we look back then on the calf performance what we find is that there were no setbacks or minimal setbacks in calf performance and this the, this production performance will help to increase the lifetime performance of the animal uh, and that helps to offset the cost of any vaccination uh, administered when the calf was young.